Hello, I'm Callis, and welcome to this video on how to set up zone editing in Kurzweil 3000. Zone editing is one of the great features of Kurzweil that makes it really, really phenomenal to use with PDFs and text that have a lot of different things going on in them. And it's one of the things that makes Kurzweil a particularly unique software. So we're going to look at how this happens in the installed version of the software. And so let's go ahead and move over to that. As you can see here, I have a textbook page that I've used this in a couple other videos, so you might recognize it. It's a history book. Not real complicated, but we have several things. We've got a chapter heading, title, page range, or the date range we're covering, a note referring to the teacher's manual, a nice graphic, some marginal material, and then the actual text. If I want this to read correctly, I need to make sure the zones are set up properly. So the first thing I did is I came over here to the scan tab in the software, and I'm going to click on zone editor. Now I noticed right off the bat that the chapter heading isn't even included. I've got primary text here. I have this text and that text in the same color. And then I've got the uh, page number down here as well. Let's zoom in a little bit more so we can see what's going on in the middle here of this chart. So this is a timeline here that actually has some useful information on it. But the way it's set up, it's not even going to read it because it's saying it's a graphic. Just making a primary text will make it read in a weird order. So let's look at how to fix this. First thing I want to do actually is I'm going to add a zone. So I right click, I click on add zone, and I draw my box around the area I want. And then I click off of it. You notice this zone is still highlighted. And it says it's going to read it fifth in order. Hmm. Don't want it to read it the middle of the page. So I'm going to right click on the highlighted zone and go to properties. I'm going to say it's reading order number one. And you see that a roaring decade is currently number one. It switches to two and the date switches to three. So it's automatic for me. Now, I'm a little concerned about this zone right here too, because it's kind of chopping off the bottom of the numbers and that'll make it likely not to read it well. So I'm going to right click and do adjust zone. I'm just going to make that zone a bit bigger, drag it over, make the centering nice and pretty. And then I clicked off of it. It's still highlighted, but I'm done with that zone. So I click again and that deselects that zone. Now this up here, it's text, it's not an image. The student might be curious of what it says. So I'm going to select it. I'm going to right click and go to properties. You know, I'm going to change that to a secondary zone. That way it will read if I click on it. Okay, so hmm, now it's green. So that tells me this still is not readable. So the first thing I need to do is I can't have this as all one zone because it's got to read it in a broken order. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to delete that zone. I want to be careful the option above it was delete all zones. Now I'm going to add a zone. Okay, that one there. I'm going to scoot that over. Uh, let's see, cancel. I'm going to do adjust zone. I'm going to scoot that over just a little bit so I don't get that line on the left because it might think that's something. Okay, there we go. Now I'm going to add another zone. Before I do that, though, let's look here. Okay, we've got zone four, zone five. It's out of order. So I'm going to have to adjust the order. Let's do that in a minute. Add zone. Let's add the second one here. Be careful not to get that line. And I'm going to add a zone. And I'm going to click it. Okay, so now I've got these three. They're already set as primary zones, but these two are still set as image. So I'm going to select one, press control on the keyboard, select the other, right click, and I can adjust the properties of both of them at the same time. Now I've also noticed that 
this is definitely cutting off the word president. So let's drag that one a little bit, move it around, make sure it gets what we want. Do the same thing on this one. No reason to read half a word. It won't sound good. Now, the next thing I need to do here is I've got reading order of one, two, three, and then it skips this entire thing and comes down here to the outline and then text forward five and then comes back. That doesn't make sense with the flow of the page. So I'm gonna adjust the properties. I make this one four. I just hit enter to get out of that one. And then it was going this way and then back, but that doesn't work either. So I want to go from four to five, adjust this one to reading order five, and I'm hitting enter is how I'm getting out of that. This one, properties, reading order six. Reading order seven. And finally, reading order eight. Now I can scroll down and see this has moved to nine and that has moved to 10. So by moving them up, I keep pushing these two down. And so it just pushes the numbers behind it down. This one was moved to 11. It's a secondary text, so it's gonna read last. Now I've got the page number down here. It might be helpful to get the page number just to help me follow along. So I'm gonna adjust the properties on that one also to a secondary text. And that's really small. I'm gonna zoom that one out just a little bit. I just like making sure my zones have the entire words in there. So that is pretty easy how I adjust the zones. If you have the web version, you can do that on the website. The menus are a little bit different, but the functionality is pretty the same. One nice thing about the installed version, if I'm doing a large book, when I click out and it says, do you wanna save? And I say, yes, it's saving it to my hard drive. So it saves it much faster. Now, the second thing it's gonna ask me is, do I wanna re-recognize the page? In this case, I added a zone. Chapter 25 was not going to be read before. Zone 11 was an image and all of these zones were images. So they had no text information behind them. Also, I sized up a couple of my zones to make sure it was getting the bottom of the letters or numbers in this case. So yes, I definitely wanna re-recognize the page. If all I did was break up the zones a little bit, see, I have one big zone here. If I just want to adjust the zone so I can go paragraph by paragraph, okay, and then I'm gonna add a zone. Oops, I gotta check out of it first, add a zone. I'm gonna do paragraph two here, click out, click out again, and then I'm going to add my third paragraph. Okay, now that one, I actually need to do adjust, move it down just a little bit because I got the top of the paragraph above it. Now, if I zoomed in a little, this would be easier. So in this case, I did adjust the zones. I broke one zone into three, but all of this previously was set as a reading zone. So if that's all I do, I don't need to re-recognize the page. But if I'm adding something that wasn't there before to be read, then yes, I need to re-recognize the page. So just for example, if I want to select a whole bunch of zones, I'm holding down the control button and I'm selecting all of them here. I can right click and go to properties and I can change them to secondary zones altogether. I'm going to do it again before I unselect them and put them back. But you can see selecting multiple zones will speed it up for me. So that's the basics of zone editing. It's just to make sure that it's reading the right stuff in the right order. Some images, especially if the book's not really clear, the computer will think some of the bits and pieces of the drawing are words and it will try to turn them into words. So that was another time where I'm going to go through and I'm gonna just delete a whole bunch of those or I'm gonna select the whole thing and turn it to a graphic. Something like that, just so the computer doesn't read stuff that's not text. So there's many different times when I might wanna use this, but it'll guarantee a much smoother flow of your book, a much higher use we found by the students because it's a pleasant reading experience. So as I mentioned, you can do this on the installed version. 
or the web version. Try them both out, see which one you like. There will be a different video for the web version. Thank you so much. Y'all have a great evening. Bye-bye.